Hello, it's Dan here, Tunnel A Model Railways. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a little update as to what I'm up to. Um, at the moment, we are on a commission, which is called Albury. Uh, lovely little layout, uh, six foot long, 17 inches wide. Uh, why you ask, is it a weird size? Um, due to basically the client's loft hatch, it's quite narrow, so we haven't got a lot of space to uh, get it up and into the roof uh, of the house, in a nutshell. Um, but still, it gives us plenty of scope. You know, there's enough, enough width there to uh, to do stuff with. Um, so it's going to be running DCC. Points were manually operated using uh, rods, um, but it soon come quite apparent that it's a right fiddle to constantly change the points from left to right to any way you're going, with especially being like a shunting yard in effect, really. Or um, so we've gone across to seep gauge master points. Um, so, yeah, 1960s, so obviously steam, steam infrastructure is still there. Um, granted, now it's, it's tired, you know, the, the, the JCB and the wrecking ball isn't far down the road, I don't think, to, uh, to pull this lot down and remodernise it with concrete and whatever else, I suspect. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's the kind of era we're going for. Uh, obviously, wanted some sort of fill yard, which comes, which come right side, which, which come through here, fill yard will do. Uh, so, I've gone with designing the building. Uh, well this really, uh, traverse turntable, I point out the first person to build one, uh, so we're going to have three lines, uh, obviously on, on, the, on the traverse, and then, haha, <laughs> this is, works too well, there we go, it's just me that, so yeah, so the, it turned around, obviously, quite happily, also got storage underneath, which is lovely, around, and then when I do go around to get finishing it, we will have a simple system with the power, uh, with brass tubes, and obviously the locking pins for the track and also we'll double up for power as well we're also going to have one single line one of these lines here will be will be three eventually which will be one for the the, the coding of the, obviously the, the dcc locos uh on separately to the rest of the layout um so yeah so a bit of a quick update um so the plan next i really is to start weathering the track um then it's going to be the point modding which i love and hate at the same time <laughs> it's worth doing it but oh my god it's a fiddle um yeah really so yeah stay tuned thanks for, for watching and uh we will we will we will make a start do some more videos and uh, yeah so like subscribe share all that malarkey and thank you very much cheers bye bye